Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Beautiful morning out here. Uh, come out here. Got the model number and the type off of the engine for that mower. And called my local small engine repair shop to see if they had the brushes and stuff like that in-house. I like to do business locally when I can, just because that's the way I should be here in America. <laughs> but uh, he, said, he, he looked and he says, yeah, I've got them. I said, okay, cool, I'll be over in a few minutes. So I went over and I took my starter with me and he asked me what it was doing and I told him. He goes, huh? He goes, let me see that. And he hooked it up to his starter motor, you know, his uh, battery charger, booster, and listened to it run. And he goes, hmm. He goes, I don't see anything wrong with that. He says, brushes is going to be a waste of your money. I'm like, really? Well, thank you for that. You know, thank you for being honest and not just taking my money and then sending me on my way. He says, explain to me again what it's doing. And I told him. And he goes, hmm. He says, you sure that battery's good? I said, well, I know for a fact that battery's no good. I had to jump start it every time I mowed last year. He goes, yeah. You might want to look into a new battery, plus check your charging system. Make sure it's charging and not putting it in a state of discharge. And I asked him how to go about that. He briefly told me, uh, just make sure it's putting out like 13 volts instead of, because this would be, the battery would be 12 volts. And if it's charging, it should show like 13 or better volts. So, okay, cool. So, he said that in all his 25 years of doing that business, he's only seen one or two of these that he ever actually had to replace. He said, and the only times he ever had to replace this end cap with the brushes in it was when the, this cap got cracked. I guess they just don't get the wear and tear like you know your car starter starts multiple times every day for say well how often you you guys I know that get out there and ride you're riding off-road mowers start them a lot more than I do I just use this for mowing my grass you know I don't even have a wagon to pull with it of course you know if I had a good battery it would start up I'd probably build one <laughs> to clean up all these sticks and stuff around the yard and things like that but uh anyway so I know that battery is no good. It was second hand when I put it in that mower. It came out of one of my old motorcycles. And like I said last year, I had to charge it up and give it a kick start every time I wanted to mow. So I'm gonna put the starter motor back on. I'm gonna disconnect all the grounds and all the leads and clean up all the things. And I don't have another new battery right now. But I think I've got a battery in one of these motorcycles that I can use for now just to test it today until I can get one. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so stay tuned and we'll see how that works out. And I'm, I'm thinking that that carburetor is probably going to be full of that crap from sitting all winter with that bad gas in it. Well, it wasn't bad gas, but it's got the ethanol in it. So it's probably all gunked up with that baking soda looking crap, you know what I mean? Anyway, we'll face that when we get the thing to turn over. And who knows, it may surprise me. Anyway, we'll see. I hang in there. All right, gang, just for demonstration and reference sakes, I'm going to show you what a known professional calls good. So, he didn't find anything wrong with that. So. I'm taking his word for it. I just wanted to show you it's not he said it's not squalling, it's not dragging. So in his mind's eye it's all good. So I'm cleaning up all the uh, electrical connections and we're gonna see if I can't get a battery that'll work on there. We're gonna try it again. Alright, so I cleaned up the grounds on the starter. And the positive side of the starter, cleaned up all that stuff. Here, let me show you. Okay, right here where it grounds the frame, I took that bolt out. And it had paint all over it. There was, I don't know how it was getting the ground, you know what I mean? So I took my angle grinder and broke through the paint there. Took that bolt loose, cleaned that up. 
cleaned up the nuts and everything in there although it doesn't look shiny on the outside it's shiny on the inside where they make contact and I came back here to the battery which is pretty corroded and rusty looking which you probably can't see for the shadows there you can see how rusty it is and I started to take the uh, terminals loose and I touched my screwdriver to the frame and got a spark and I thought well, you know what this battery's been sitting here for two days without a charge on it and it's got juice so it's not completely dead so I turned over the key and it tried once <laughs> but I'm gonna try it again with the booster on it I'll oh, see there with the charger on it it wants to take a full charge but I'm gonna hit the boost on it just to see what it'll do even though I haven't cleaned up the rest of the terminals okay we're on boost and nothing that's for nothing all right so I've taken the battery out of the KZ 750 which was a brand new battery last year I'm gonna put it on the charger make sure it's charged up while I finish cleaning all my electrical connections and then we should be ready to try this rascal all right guys well this thing's kicking my butt still I put that thought to be good battery out of that motorcycle in there and put it on the charger and it didn't appear to want to take a charge and I thought well okay maybe it's got a charge you know so after cleaning up all the wires and everything stuck it in there and tried it and nothing so I put the charger on it and give it a boost and it will turn the motor over if I have the spark plug out but when I put the spark plug in it'll turn it but not fast enough to make it start you know what I mean and uh, so I'm thinking is that battery no good already it sat out here in the cold all winter and went bad really it won't take a charge or anything it had one cell that was a little bit low on water not much just a little bit and you know I put water in that and uh, so I really don't know it won't take a charge it doesn't seem to have any juice so maybe I need to load them up take them to the uh, auto parts store and have them put on a load test and see if they are actually any good and if not go get some good ones because I'm gonna need one for the bike and I'm gonna need one for the lawnmower and it's just it's frustrating me to no end. <laughs> I can't seem to make any headway. At least now I know all my cables are clean and a professional told me my starter's good. Really? <laughs> I don't know. I'll get back to you and uh, figure out what's going on. Okay? Alright, thanks for tuning in guys. Sorry I wasn't more successful. And I will see you later. Alright, take care. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. All right. So I took the battery out of the Vulcan. When I turned the key on it, the dash lights lit up. So that shows, that gives me faith that that battery's got some promise. And I took it out of the Vulcan, put it in the lawnmower, and hooked the charger up to it. And it's got about half a charge, it says. So I'm gonna let it charge for a little bit. Let it, give it an hour or something. Let it get up to capacity, you know? And then we're going to give it a try. <laughs> if that doesn't turn over by itself without a boost, I don't know what I'm going to do. But <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but I'll keep you posted. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's the story. I've been waiting like two hours for this battery charge up. And it's finally down to almost to zero on my charger. So I got my digital multi-tester and checked them all. The battery out of the KZ said 11 volts, even though it wouldn't take a charge. So I know that's not good. The old battery that was in it said 11.99, and then it flicked over to 12. Well, that's not good either. And this one, the battery out of the KZ, shows 13 plus but it's falling off 13.49, 13.48, 13 13.47, and just falling. So that's not a good sign either. That means that battery's not wanting to hold a charge. But while it's got 13 volts in it, we're going to try and see if it will actually turn this motor over with a spark plug in it. 
by itself with the charger off and everything. Hey, that's a good sign. So what I'm going to do next, because I believe that carburetor is probably gummed up, I'm just going to pour a little bit of gas down in the throat of the carburetor, choke it a little bit, and see if we can get her to hit. Alright, alright, got gas in it, got the choke on. in the garage is running all right so yeah not who you know or what you know it's sometimes just how you live I guess I got lucky huh uh, that seemed to work out though thanks for staying with me through all that I appreciate you guys and uh, I'll see you later we're just about to get the chores behind us so we can start having some fun huh oh, yeah there's peace in the valley now all right thanks everybody we'll see you take care Uh, let's see how they enjoy their new fresh cut grass. Oh, look at it. You got the football or basketball. <laughs> you got it for me? <laughs> You're so silly. I go with it.
You ever see such a crazy guy? <laughs> we have literally bought him footballs, soccer balls. Trying to find something that he can't pop. And actually, the soccer ball and the football lasted the longest. Took him about a month to get through the hide on a soccer ball. And the basketball gave him a workout, but it didn't take but a couple of days until he had a fang in it. What are you doing? Well, see, we can put it over there for. Got him there. Oh, look at him. He got it. Bring it here, Tom. Bring it here. They're crazy. All right. We'll see you guys. Bye-bye.